I'd have uh, another little venture really. Well, I'm on my boat actually, I'm on my pontoon. So uh, my boat's on my uh, that side. I've had a bit of a rough week with the old boat really, to be honest, yeah, it's all gone a little bit wrong. So uh, while I'll do that maintenance of uh, the bow thrust that broke, the windlass that's broke, the leaky front hatch that's uh, leaking, and also the batteries that have gone dead. Once I've done all that, while I'm doing all that, I should say, I'm gonna do a little bit of mullet fishing. Plenty of mullet around that here today. So I thought I'd just get the old rod out and uh, give it a go. So uh, I've seen some big ones already as well, some absolute crackers, you know what I mean? It's all four pounders plus, easy. But there's a lot of sort of pound, pound and alphas as well sort of thing. But anyway, I'm gonna get, do a bit of ground baiting and uh, get the old rod in. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully here we come. It's not very deep either. So they're gonna give me one hell of a fight if I do a cup. So uh, yeah, let's get going. So there is the bait of choice, the good old loaf of bread, white of course. So all I'm gonna do, a couple of slices, and I'm just gonna dunk them in the water. At the back of my boat, there's the back of my boat. I'm just gonna wet them. And let the old flakes go to the bottom. Now you've got to be a little bit careful because the birds and swans will be all over this so I'm trying to get it to sink before they come around. So it's starting to go, some of it's floating. There we are, I don't know if you can see that. It's all starting to sink to the bottom. And just how I like it. So what happens now is any mullet are going around, they will feed on that. It's a little bit uh, deep for uh, me video in it, but uh, yeah. So there's a bit of floating there as well, sort of thing. So I'm hoping the swans are not going to go for it. So leave me alone, but you never know. But, so there's the ground bait. And the rig of choice. Is a Shimano bait runner loaded with a 15 pound line, just a small rod, 12 pound class. Let me just put the rod down, float, stop swinging, a couple of shot, and a very small. Let me grab that as well. if you can see that there we go how's that very small hook barbless freshwater hook and for the trace lot I'm oh, sorry forgot to say the trace line is only six pounds so there's the rig going down anything bigger than about eight pound trace line the mullet will not have it it just will not take it so you've got to have light line. 
for the trace. So anyway, let's get in the water. There it is, ready for the action. And down there is my float. I've not even got it cocked at the moment, I must admit. But anyway, got to set the drag. I'm going to flick it forward. So if I do get a hook up, it can just run off and off it goes. They are absolutely teasing me to death, these mullet at the moment. They're all over the place. They're swimming past the bait, but they're not taking it. I think I've got to gain their trust a little bit around here at the moment. They're, they're melting a little bit of the ground bait, and then they're shooting off. They're swirling, they're swirling around my bait, inquisitive about it, but they're not quite sure about it yet. Been here about an hour. There we go, just waiting for it to happen. The, the mullet quite often do swim underneath my boat and uh, they go up and towards the pontoons up there as well. They swim underneath the pontoons all the way around. I think they like that sort of added protection. Um, and also obviously the they feed off the growth from the pontoon. You will hear them sometimes in the morning slurping away as they're sucking off the uh, weed and fungi, I suppose. But uh, there it is, back again. Just about to go over my, underneath my dive platform by the look of it. Anyway, hopefully we're, we're hook up. Well, no success last night on the old uh, mullet. Bloody frustrating there, though. So. They were uh, around, they were melting the bait, they were swimming around the bait. They just would not take it. Absolutely finicky as you would like. But back out again this morning. It's uh, early doors, just after six. There's a few ripples around. So they're back here again. So hopefully we're going to bag this uh, mullet with a bit of luck and get it on camera for you. And uh, it's really shallow at the moment, probably a foot. And if I get one on now, it is going to go off like an absolute steam train. Because it can't go down, it's going to go along. So, hopefully, we're going to bag one in. We've got one. We're banging the one. It's absolutely going nuts. It's not a bad size either. Absolute cracker it is. I'm just going to play it out because I don't want to lose it. So I've got the straps, straps. Drag set, drag set nice and uh, easy, can't even say it. Oh, there goes something or another. Something straight off. Just taking it easy with the... With the uh... Oh, you don't like it. You don't like it at all. It's a cracker fish though. I'm just, just going to play it in. I don't want it to... Be lost. It's an absolute cracker of a fish. But I'm just taking it easy here. It's trying to go underneath the boat, so I just want to take it nice and easy. Keep it away from the prop at all times. I'm going to get it nice and worn out before I get it landed. I don't want to land it.
Jesus, it's giving me some grief. This is, oh, it's not bad size either. I'm just conscious that I don't want to get it too close to the boat. And I've got to get my net out. We've got it folks, we've got it, we've got it. Get the etch down. This here is in the net. Oh, cracker, absolute cracker. Let's get it down. Well guys, look at that. Cracking mullet. I've just weighed it. Go on, I'm reckoning guess how much you reckon that is my pb mullet that is absolute cracker that took quite a while to got build its confidence in it but what a cracker that is oh oh anyway i'm gonna get it back four and three quarter pound mullet or pb over the moon absolute cracking fight and there's still more to be caught, so I'm gonna get it back in a bit smaller. Oh, Well, it's gone a bit quiet for a little bit, so uh, which is uh, sort of what you expect, really, to be honest. Yeah, it sort of spooks the uh, mullet when you get one on the old uh, rod, so it takes about half hour normally to sort of gain their trust again, somewhere around that. But they are around still, so that's good news. But anyway, <clears throat> I thought I'd show you what, uh, well, how I should bait up, really. So just a loaf of bread, obviously hook there. And all I do is just tear a little chunk out, like so, something like that. It's a little bit big, so I'll get rid of. I'll just get rid of this. So, if you can, that's my finger. It's about the size of that. Again, just half that again. So you're left with about that. And all I do, if you want it floating, just rest it on there like so, and pinch at the shank. And that keeps it on the hook. And this bit here, this fluffy bit here, will make it float. And that's what I'll do for, oh, I'll just want to show you as well, and I'll slightly bury the hook as well. So it lays flush with the bread and not sticking up like that. You want it flush and just mask it slightly, only slightly. So yeah, so that floats. That keep squishing it on the actual shank makes it stay to the hook and then it bobs along with the other bits of bread that i've laid out there to gain the confidence of the mullet some types of mullet are not feeding on the top they're below the water subsurface so all i do again is just crimp it up around the actual hook itself and just give it a squish in so it's now like a almost like a sausage sort of thing and then that will slowly sink down to your desired depth so I've got my trace line there of six pound, which I mentioned earlier. And uh, 
yeah, so you can set your depth to what you want. And uh, on, well, I'm on the back of the boat and uh, I can see how deep it is as well, sort of thing. So it's uh, nice, easy fishing. So yeah, let's get back out there and uh, see what happens. It's a constant battle though with the old seagulls with the floating bread. That's the only thing is they tend to uh, spook the fish off um, when they're trying to get the bread off your uh, water. So yeah, it is, it's good fun. I'm just gonna chuck that in there like that. And uh, let's get back to it. Well, that's it, the end of the session. So just the one mullet. There were quite a few mullet around, but it, I think they were just spooked and, and not taken in the bait. And uh, as the sort of uh, time went on, they all disappeared really. So yeah, I ain't seen the mullet for over an hour now. So that's it, just the one mullet, cracking fish and PB as well. So I'm over the moon with that. And uh, yeah, so I uh, hope you like enjoyed the uh, small video but um give me the all important thumbs up and uh if you would like to subscribe please do uh, there's more adventures to come and uh i'll see you next time